Coffee chat day 18. Uh, we made it. We made it to 18. Write yourself a coffee, sit down, enjoy the vibe. So as it turns out, the uh, YouTube algorithm really loved day 14. Like it adored Coffee Chat day 14. So, uh, you know, whereas I would consider like 20 views on a video a big amount of views. Uh, you know, so yeah, 20 views a video. I would consider that like a lot, right? Uh, 380 people decided to click on Coffee Chat Day 14, which, that's wild. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, we got, we got a bunch of new people here. 35 subscribers, too. Uh, yesterday, I was saying in one in my video that, you know, since we had hit 20 subs, I was like, Oh, hell yeah, thank you. And then, like, I started calculating, like, alright, I've been doing this for three months now, uh, wait until around June, and if we're going at the same pace, then we'll have 40 subscribers. Sick. Awesome. Uh, we got 50 subscribers later that day. So, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's just crazy to me. Like, I, I can't believe that is real. That... 300, nearly 400 people saw my face and were like, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll click on it. We'll click on it. <laughs> and I think Coffee Chat Day 16 is also, like, starting to get a good few views, too. So that's, like, awesome. So thank you. Thank you again. So if you're one of the many new people here, uh, allow me to introduce you to the channel once I'm done tracking the smoke. Oh yeah, and also, if you are new here, uh, we have this system, because I want to, you know, quit smoking, obviously, where every day we'll write, we'll tally down how many smokes I've had, and this is from like the first week of doing it, right? And then at the end of the week, we'll average it out and, you know, every week we try and get a new lower average. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, it's right on this wall right next to me. You can't see it, but, like, it. trust me, it's there. Uh, and, yeah, these uh, coffee chats, they go up daily. And then there's, like, little advice videos, too, that also go up daily. Uh, those are, like, just sort of me trying to give lectures on like thoughts that come to my head and those are like all pre-recorded in advance like usually a month in, well i pre-recorded like 30 something videos that i'm just sort of uploading to and then these are recorded like every day but they're a day in advance so yeah you kind of get like the basic gist of that system uh i'm gonna have a Bible tomorrow like a physical Bible so we're gonna be using that to do like you know Bible readings like that will also be a daily thing and then every now and again I want to like upload music and stuff because I play guitar and like you know I, I want to learn how to play those those are drums by the way in case you couldn't tell I want to learn how to play those I need to find a place to set them up obviously because my room isn't that spacious like it it's big enough but like you know not big enough for a drum kit so yeah that's like the basic gist of that and yeah so welcome here if you are new and like i said at the beginning grab yourself a coffee sit down enjoy the vibe So, as for today, what I've done so far, uh, I just did, like, all my, you know, mental health sort of habits, you know, like the gratitude, journaling, meditating, I prayed, 
uh, you know, like I haven't really been that busy today. After this, I'm going to be heading to the gym. And then once I come back from that, I'm going to be, you know, fucking playing a new game. I'm getting a new game today. Well, hopefully I was trying to like buy it like before I started recording and like it kept running into issues. I think it's just something with like the billing address. So once we fix that, I'll be playing a new game. Uh, don't know. I mean, probably most of you have heard about it because like it really like popped off. Uh, Slay the Princess. I've been watching like so many playthroughs on that recently and like it just really stuck with me. So I want to like actually play it and like experience it. But you know, like I've had everything spoiled for me. But I can just like very quickly just forget it all, honestly. I can go into it as if I'm experiencing it for the first time. That's what I used to do with uh, Breath of the Wild, if any of you have played that. Because I've played through that game like eight times to completion. And I, I really like that game. Oh yeah, also, uh, another video format that I haven't talked about. I'm trying to do like longer videos too. I kind of delve deeper into one topic that I really find interesting. One that I have coming up is about exploration and like experiencing new things. And I'm going to be bringing up Breath of the Wild in that one. But I've only, like, really scripted the intro. So I still need, like, to do a lot more work. And, like, that, those videos are going to be edited. These ones aren't. Like, these ones are just me to you just talking. But those videos are going to be edited. They're going to be, like, more... Not professional, because I'm a very amateur editor. and like, an amateur YouTuber. But, like, you know, they're going to be... They're going to be there, right? And, like, I'm going to be giving them... The best that I can and like really trying to bring out what I'm talking about and like really focus on the artistry of making a YouTube video rather than just like this sort of stuff right and like a lot of people were commenting about how much they like this sort of format and talking about how like you know just how they like the sort of formal informal way that this is done like the way that it feels like I'm just talking to them. And that's like exactly what I was going for. Like, I wanted these videos to be sort of, you know, you sit down. And it's almost like you're chatting with a friend. And a lot of people really got that vibe. And I'm very happy that people are seeing what I'm trying to do. And that they're experiencing it. Because like, that's, that's awesome. I mean, this video is probably going to be less so of that. Because, you know, we're, like, like I said, like, a lot of people just joined randomly. So, I'm still, like, not really done processing that. But, yeah, like, you know, feel welcome to stick around. I'm sure I'll be back to, like, normal where I'm just chatting to you. And, you know, it'll, it'll be good. It'll be fun. Can't tell if you just heard the random child screaming out there. A lot of kids playing around in my state after school. So, like, if you hear kids, like, just yelling, ignore that. They're just doing kid stuff. Also, ignore the uh, PlayStation fans. <laughs> I have this, like, set up on top of my PlayStation. And that's sort of how I get the camera to be at eye level. Like I said, we're very... Amateurish here. <laughs> Just got back from my grandparents, too. A lot of people really like connected to the me well not a lot of people but like a few people really connected with the uh message i was trying to get across with cherish your family 
that's one of the videos I uploaded. And I'm really grateful that people could like connect to it because I felt like, you know, when I recorded that video, like I really felt like, yeah, okay, this one's gonna be very meaningful. And I'm glad that people were able to connect to that and like, you know, feel, I don't want to say feel heard because that feels like tooting my own horn a bit, but like, I'm very glad that it was valuable to some people. And yeah, I don't know, like it's just, yeah. Cause like that's sort of what I'm trying to go for with like the advice video. So like this is like, you know, sitting down with a friend, like having a coffee, right? That's the sort of vibe that these videos go for. The advice videos are meant to like help people and they're meant to like, you know, just make people feel seen and heard and like not really offer solutions. Like, I, I want to try and offer solutions where I can. And so, like, the people who are looking for solutions can get solutions. But, like, there are more to just... You know, make... There are more to be there for the people that need to hear them. If you get what I mean. And then the longer videos are just like, again, more about the artistry, but also like trying to combine that being meaningful thing into it. Like the, uh, the longer videos are hopefully going to be more of like a comfort thing than anything else. Like I want them to be comforting to people. Like if... So if someone just needs to get out of their own head, they can just watch those videos and then they can feel good. Well, I don't know, that sounds kind of insidious, honestly. Like, it sounds like I'm becoming the type of YouTuber that I don't want to become. I mean, I don't even want to become a YouTuber. Like, I have bigger goals in mind. But, you know, like, I want those videos to be there. For the people that just need to escape their own head for like 40 minutes and just like hear something and watch something, I suppose. I don't really know what sort of goal I'm trying to go for with those sort of videos, but I just want to make them personally. Like, honestly, that's the main reason. I just want to personally make something that I can really be proud of like oh I made this like you know sort of artistic content because while well, like I do enjoy making these it's like you know I, I've like I've already run out of things to talk about like I ran out of, like I don't even know what to talk about in these videos I'm just sort of like free balling it and hoping that you know, it, it feels like how I want it to feel. Which, thankfully, a lot of people have said that it does feel like the way that I want it to feel. But, you know, like, I... I don't know, like, there's not really much to talk about in my life because I just live, like, a very plain old simple life. I'm very much like a man of routine and, like, habit. So, I do pretty much the same things every day, and just leave it at that. I could talk about how I chugged three beers in, like, the span of 20 minutes yesterday while I was having dinner. But, like, I don't really know how people are gonna find that interesting. <laughs> I mean, fun funny story about that, actually. I went down to get my dinner... And I told my mother, like, oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a beer and a half down. And she was, like, saying that I was drunk and all. 
I was like, nah, I'm not drunk. And then I tried to walk up the stairs and I nearly fell. So, you know, like, I guess I was like a little bit tipsy, but it was just because of, you know, I had a beer and a half in me within five minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> No, I'm really excited to hit the gym today. I like, I weirdly messed up my arm, and I talked about it in yesterday's coffee chat, where like my wrist just feels a little bit off when I'm like trying to do curls and all. So, you know, I wanted to take like a few days off, but like, again, man of habit. Like, I obviously I'm gonna go back. Like, I I love the gym. It's like, the. It's like my happy place, essentially. Like, I go to the gym and then just for an hour and a half, it's just lifting weights and it's awesome. I love that type of shit. I remember whenever I'd feel down or like, you know, a bit under the weather on like a, like I was ill way. I mean, I would still work out when I was sick because, again, man of habit. But, you know, whenever I just felt like a bit blue, I suppose, I would always just go to the gym and, like, just, like, do squats or, like, absolutely destroy legs because leg day is, like, my therapy, right? And I just absolutely hammer legs, destroy them. I wouldn't be able to walk the next day. And that always just elevated my mood so much. Like, that kept me going. When I was in, like, not exactly the darkest time periods of my life. But, like, you know, in, in times where I wasn't really as happy as I wanted to be, I could always just hit legs. That will keep me going for, like, another week. Well, another day, and then I hit legs again. <laughs> Ah, coffee's down. That's all I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is.